Hi, my name is Anwar and I'm a service engineer with SMA Australia. Today, I'll be talking about the different options available for earth fault alarm according to Australian standards. According to clause 3.4.3 of AS slash NZS 5033, PV systems installed after 11th of July 2015, which have an array operating at low voltage, that being greater than 120 volt DC, must include earth fault alarm capability. For all of the earth fault alarm methods presented, you will need to clearly discuss and document with your customer the method of earth fault alarm used and what actions should be taken in an event of an earth fault. Make sure that your installation also complies with any local codes and regulations. For SMA inverters, there are three options available for earth fault alarm. Option one, to use the Web Connect module with Sunny Portal. Option two, to use the multifunction relay with a third party external alarm. And option three, to use the built in fault indication light on the inverter. Almost all SMA inverters now come with a Web Connect module already installed. A shielded CAT5 cable will be required to connect the inverter to your local network or router. To connect the inverter to your local network, lift the display and connect the CAT5 cable to your Web Connect module. Once the inverter is connected, register the system in Sunny Portal and turn on the Earth Fault Monitoring option. There is a detailed video instruction showing how to do the registration of the Web Connect module in Sunny Portal. Please see description for the link to the video. Once the system is registered in Sunny Portal, click on Configuration tab, and then click on Report Configuration. From the drop-down list, select the last option that says Event Report for errors in accordance with the standard, and click on Edit again. Select the Active box. This will activate the error reporting. In the second section, you will have to enter an email address for multiple users. Add another email address. The email address has to be separated by a comma, as mentioned here. In the third section, you have to select AS5033. Once this is completed, click on Save. If an earth fault develops, the system will now generate an email notification of an earth fault which will be sent hourly until the fault is acknowledged in Sunny Portal or the earth fault is cleared. The setup is the same if your plan consists of Home Manager, Cluster Controller or the web box. Using the multifunction relay and fitting it with an external third party alarm can meet the requirement for earth fault monitoring under AS5033. To connect the multifunction relay to the inverter, lift the display and insert the multifunction relay into the relay slot. And also connect the ribbon cable onto the main board. Here is a basic circuit diagram of how an alarm can be connected using a multifunction relay. For detailed wiring, please refer to the installation manual. Inverters are configured to operate the multifunction relay if a fault occurs. You can check the settings of the multifunction relay via Sunny Explorer. So run Sunny Explorer. Click on Enter New Plant. We are selecting Bluetooth in this case, but you can also select Speed Wire if you like. Select the inverter from the list. Login as an installer. The password will still be the default password, which is 1111. Once logged in, select the inverter from the left hand side list. Click on settings. Click on device. Scroll down until you see the option multifunction relay. The operating mode for the multifunction relay should say fault indication. 
If it doesn't, then scroll down and click on edit to change the settings. If using this option for Earthfault alarm compliance, you should note to the customer that the multifunction relay and the connected alarm will operate for any inverter fault and not just earth fault. The third option to meet the earth fault alarm requirement is to use the inverter's built-in fault identification light. The inverter's fault identification light will turn on red if any fault is detected. To use this feature as an earth fault alarm compliance, the inverter must be placed in a compliant location to ensure that the fault is noticed. We hope that this short video will help you understand about the different Earthfault monitoring options available with SMA inverters. For more details and technical support, please contact our service line. If you have liked our videos and want to be informed about the latest videos in our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. My name is Anwar from SMA Australia, and thanks for watching.